In today's video, I want to talk to you guys about knockoff baits and whether they're a good or a bad thing for us as bass anglers. And, and you know, this is a kind of a topic that I normally wouldn't weed into, but I want to kind of get into it today because just looking at the comment sections of so many posts and so many things on social media, I think especially for newer anglers and maybe anglers that don't know, you know, everything about kind of fishing and the fishing industry yet and the fishing business, it can be kind of almost overwhelming to see for the lack of better terms, the shit throwing that happens back and forth between different people. And it can be one of those things that's like almost, I think can drive people away because they don't want to be part of like this negativity storm. And you know, it's one of those things that number one, I will tell you, don't pay attention to it. Just go out, go fishing, have fun, fish how you want to fish, fish with what you want to fish with, and that's that. Um, but for the people who are kind of wanting to get into it, kind of understand the whole knockoff um, culture or whatever you want to call it in the fishing world and kind of understand why for us as anglers it may be a good or a bad thing, I wanted to make this video. And so without further ado, let's just kind of wade into this topic. So. Knockoff baits, are they good or are they bad for us as anglers? We're not gonna get into like the moral standpoint. We're not gonna get into any of that. I just wanna talk about for you and me as anglers, are knockoff baits a good or a bad thing? Well, I think they can be a good thing and I think they can be a bad thing. I think it's a bad thing when you're just talking about copy and paste. You know, when you take a lure off the shelf at a Chinese factory that has been made by five other companies that you just slap a label on there, slap a bunch of colors on there and ship them out the door to try to make a buck. I don't think that those are good for us as anglers because for you as an angler, you're not getting anything innovative. You're not getting anything different. You're just getting the same old thing that everybody else gets. And this happens a lot. You'll see this with you know different Chinese based companies and different companies in the industry that they may be like really good at making plastics and then they wanna make a crankbait and they just go buy a bunch of crankbait blanks from China, get them painted, and then they say it's this new innovative crankbait when really it's just the same thing as everything else. I think that sort of, we'll say, knock off type of bait making is just not great for us as anglers because you're not getting anything new. Now, the good side of it is something that I don't really even like to call knockoffs. I like to call it the reimagining of baits because categorically, there's only so much that we can do with baits in the fishing industry. There's only so many worms you can make. There's only so many crankbaits you can make. There's only so many swim baits you can make. And the list goes on and on and on. And there's only so many ways that you can make that shape. But there's a bunch of different ways that you can reimagine that shape to do the job that you want it to do a little bit better, to do a specific job really, really well. And one of the things that I always like to talk about is the Berkeley Cole Shad. Now, obviously, Mega Bass came out with the Mag Draft many, many years ago. I was a huge fan of the Mag Draft. I still am a huge fan of the Mag Draft. It is a bait that I was throwing even before the Mag Draft was cool. I literally have video evidence of me throwing the Mag Draft that I got from Japan, imported from Japan, and catching fish on that thing. And it was a phenomenal swim bait and still is a phenomenal swim bait, but it had some drawbacks. And a couple of the drawbacks were the magnetic system, i.e. the mag draft, that's where it gets its name, and then the speed at which you had to fish it. And both of those things were infuriating to a lot of anglers, and you would see a lot of anglers modifying and over-modifying mag drafts to make them swim well and to kind of help that magnetic system not to get tore up and the thing about the mag draft was obviously with that magnetic system there had to be a seam around where they molded that magnetic system that would tear up really really easy and so if you got on a good mag draft bite you get five or six good bites and that magnetic system was already falling out of that bait and so with the Berkeley Cole Shad, what Berkeley did was they redesigned it and they put a clip system in there. And so we didn't have to actually put that magnetic system in there. And so you're gonna get a lot more durability out of that bait. Another thing, like I said, was the mag draft had a speed at which it wanted to be fished. You either had to slow roll it 
or speed it up just a little bit to get that perfect action out of it. But the problem was is if you fished it just a little too fast, it would blow out. And if you fished it a little bit too slow, you wouldn't have any action and it would just, you know, corkscrew through the water where Berkeley put that honeycomb tail design in the coal shad, which allows you to fish it at variable speeds, fish it in current, and that bait's gonna stay upright and it's going to have the action that it needs. And so for me, the Berkeley coal shad, which is a reimagining of a bait category, is a superior bait because of the way that I like to fish it, where I like to fish it, and what I like to do with it. And it just does the job a little bit better than the mag draft does. And so for me and for us as anglers, I view that as 100% a good thing because not only does this happen with the call shaft, but it's happened with so many different crawl baits, with crank baits, with bladed jigs like the slobber knocker. It's just a redesign and a reimagining of a bait category. And it turns out to be something that's a fish catcher. It's a little bit more efficient. It helps us as anglers to catch fish. And so, that's kind of my point of view on it. I mean, guys, it's capitalism. People knock off other people's stuff. People reimagine other people's stuff. I mean, if you've bought anything off of Amazon that's an Amazon Basics product, you have been a part of, quote unquote, knock off culture. And so it's not just bass fishing, it's every industry out there. And for us as anglers, we gotta see the benefits of it, not just the drawbacks. I think so many people wanna feed into negativity and not see the positive in things. And for me as a person, and in my life, I like to see the positive and try to see the positive in absolutely everything. So you tell me what you guys think. Let me hear your opinion down in the comment section. Again, and I will say this, temper your, your attitudes before you go down there. Let's have cordial conversation, which probably won't happen in the comment section, but let me know what you guys think about knockoff baits and whether you guys like getting something that's reimagined or fishing the original thing. And if you guys wanna see some videos of me fishing the coal shad and catching some big fish, Click this video, it's popping up right here.